Hello, welcome to Flight Test. I'm David. Today we're gonna to show you how to put the bomb bay in our B25. Now to do so, you wanna make sure you do not have this installed yet. If this is installed, you can't access the servo very well and it's gonna make it a lot more difficult. Let's get to work. Okay, now in this portion of the video, we're gonna be working on the bomb bay. To get started, we need to cut out our hole for our servo, which is right up front here. And if you followed the steps earlier, there should be marks for it. You just simply just cut out around it, and pop it out. Once you're done with that, you wanna take your servo, and we're gonna just test fit it up in here and make sure it fits right. And it's a perfect fit. So we're gonna simply just put some dabs of glue on here. And also on the back side here, it's gonna sit right up against the wall inside the bomb bay. Once you have glue on it, take it, careful not to burn yourself. Simply just slide it up inside here and hold it in place until it's good and dry. Now that that's dry, we have a decision to make. If you're putting landing gear on your plane, you can actually make the bomb base so they open up sideways like the original plane actually did. If you're gonna be belly landing this, you wanna do the bomb bay a little bit different. There's another option of being able to cut along this line, here, and here, so that the door will actually flip open this way. Now this plane we're actually putting landing gear on, so we're not gonna do it like that. Now, if you're gonna be doing the landing gear version, we're gonna cut open this barn door by just simply putting our ruler right across the top here, and slicing right down the center. Should be pretty easy without much resistance because it is etched on the back side. Once you have that one done, you're gonna come on the back side here. Same thing again, line up the marks that we had cut earlier. This one, you can't cut quite as deep because it's actually sitting on the former to support the door. And then we're gonna also do the same on the front. Like so. Once you have those cut, just kind of stick your blade right in here. And gently just kind of pry up. You might have a spot that you missed a little bit, like I did right here. If you feel too much resistance, just stop and kind of trim it up a little bit, make sure everything opens up good. One side, and same thing on the other. Okay, once you have the bomb bay opened up, we're simply just gonna take some glue, put it right along this side. And this will help uh, reinforce the joint a little bit, so that way it's gonna last a long time. Take your piece of scrap foam, make sure you squeegee off all the extra hot glue. I like to just kind of work it back and forth, make sure that it's not gonna get caught at all. And before you close it all the way, make sure it dries really good, so that way you don't run into any problems with it getting stuck. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You want these hinges to be good and clean so you don't have any obstructions. There's nothing worse than trying to drop your bombs and one of the doors gets stuck or something along those lines and it's just a failed attempt. We do it a lot. And you'll see also if you hold, the, hold it open while the glue's drying, it kind of has a springy action so it helps pop the doors open. Okay. Next thing, we're gonna grab a popsicle stick here. All right, once you get your popsicle stick, you wanna simply just close the doors, hold the popsicle stick right over, and we're actually gonna come up just a little bit over this front edge here so that way it gives it something hard to push on so you're not actually pushing in on the doors too far. That looks really good. We're gonna open this up. And it doesn't matter which side you wanna do this on, but you're just gonna take a little bit of glue, put it right along this edge. Oh my God. I am very shaky this morning. 
Once you get your glue on there, you're gonna simply just mimic the same spot you had earlier. Push it down, make sure it's overlapped on that side. And I'm just gonna push it down, make sure we're good right here. Hold it there until it dries. Now that that's dry, we're just gonna check our fit, make sure everything fits together good. It's a little bit snug, so I'm just gonna go around the edges with a uh, piece of my landing gear wire or a push rod. I'm just gonna push it down in this crack. Just move it back and forth a little bit. This just gives a little bit of extra space so it moves more free. And right down the center a little bit too. I'm just gonna go along this edge. Like so. Okay, that fits really nice. The next step is we're gonna to have to center the servo up for this. Get our control horn out here. We want this one. And the screw for it. Simply just take your servo centering tool, get it hooked up to the servo. Okay, we're simply gonna just get our servo hooked up here. Make sure it works. Now that we know it works, we're gonna just turn our servo centering tool all the way to one direction. We're going to make sure that it spins counterclockwise all the way. Once it's spun counterclockwise, we're simply just gonna put this right on top, push it down on there, and test, make sure it works. And that's perfect. Next step is gonna be putting your screw back in. Make sure it works one more time. That's perfect. And then you just simply hold it down, flip the switch on your controller, and you're all set. Now that we're all done with the Bombay, we're gonna go back to the video, put the nose on, and get started on the wings.